Sir, did you see Gavin Wood on stage in Buenos Aires? Joined by Councillor Raul, the two gave an overview of governance and the role of the treasuries. We see the treasury as a decentralized community-driven funding mechanism for Polkadot and Kusama projects. Through the treasuries and governance, we are decentralizing. Decentralizing the individuals, the group of humans that constitute the network, the community, those who may help maintain it, all the way from core developers down to people that are interested and want to rock up to meetups. These groups structures can actually be codified on the chain, the Technical Fellowship or the Polkadot Alliance being two early examples, but there are more coming. There's also plans for an Ambassador Fellowship, plans for a Ecosystem Technical Fellowship, or how about media creation? I would like to see good ideas of how to raise awareness, educate, and advocate. He goes on to talk specifically about small amounts, which is exactly how this very brand started in June of 2021. The Kusumarian is now up for its second round of six-month funding, and we're moving from the Kusama treasury over to Polkadot. The only unfortunate thing is... Polkadot is still working on Governance 1. So that means the council will likely get to decide, but they need to know what token holders think of the media service provided by us here at the Kusamarian. For this reason, it's essential that you click the link below, sign up or log into Poke Assembly with your wallet extension. You can leave your opinion here, here, or express yourself down here. After you check out the TLDR or dive into the full proposal, it's really easy reading. We'll also have a live read through of it on Sunday at 5 p.m. UTC with an AMA. But again, click that link and share your opinion because if the council doesn't know that you love these shows, they may not be here for long. And check out that video if you want to learn more about governance and treasuries. It's really, really good. Peanut? Actually, Jay, Birdo here. I'm covering for Peanut today. Like the recently featured Exile Races, projects long in development are starting to tease their progress. Veil of Time does a Twitter Spaces and shares their battle mechanics in this video. Ajuna releases a trailer and is nearing a release. Evolute teases more on expeditions. And Remark Punks drops a game trailer collab with Shiba Tales, and banners will have more utility. A Star DGens gives an impressive recap. While this track is sold out on public pressure, Rich Valentino will be launching some tracks on public pressure as well. SFY Labs Mr. Whitehall Collection gets rejected from Rare Sama and discusses future plans. X Chip shares on cross equipables. Is there additional utility with public pressure's pods? And it looks like Rare Sama's rollout on Exosama Network has governed. Governance, sales, and artist auctions going strong. And on to see Studley Saint. As we navigate the auctions on the sister chains, we've got pair thread 2104 and 2106 duking it out for the lead. Could it be a current pair chain re-upping a slot? Or maybe it's a new project we just don't know about yet. Son of a... <laughs> Over on Kusama, we've got Moon River taking the cake on the most recent auctions. Well, Mangata X has hit their cap already as they await the outcome of the 68th auction. But maybe Acura asked his other plans. On to other news as Hydra DX's ultra-efficient Omnipool just keeps getting deeper. Pendulum's interlay like bridge to and from Stellar Spacewalk will be launching soon and Equilibrium is now integrated with the star via XCM. Build Chain is kicked off in Pizza Italy, while over on Aventus 2023 is a year for heavy building and integrating deeper into the Polkadot network. Fala, a star composable Dia and Parody had a bustling meetup in NYC. Polkadot is just so cool. And what? Tax reports for Polkadot activity on the horizon? Yeah, Polkalytics. Wasm smart contracts are on the rise as Polkadot Council approved this $1.6 million incentive bounty up for token holder consideration soon. Polkadexis, they upgrade to support any Web3 wallet is on the horizon. Lucas looks to demystify putting real world assets on chain through Centrifuge, which will soon see 220 million in real world assets come onto their parachain via Web3 Giants MakerDAO and Block Tower. Kilt launches the PayPal integration we told you about a couple weeks ago. Our network, a new substrate L1 powered by Gear Protocol, is looking for ambassadors. Quartz staking is now live. Braindex, a new cross-chain aggregator, is live on Moonbeam. And the Polkadot Hackathon in Europe is just now live. Let the games begin, Jay. This week, my eyes are on Rich Valentino. As Pinan mentioned, he's brewing something on Rare Sama. But to tie us over, he dropped Soul to Soul, a rare track from his ultimate high collection. Have a great weekend, everybody. And thanks for your support.